Okay. It's a long story. I'm recording the first part of this video after I recorded the main part because I just figured out that something went, got jacked up with the format that the first video was recorded in. So I'm actually doing the first part of the video now. And thankfully the camera fell over, which you'll see at the beginning of when I reference that. Because otherwise I would have recorded this entire lecture in the wrong format. If or for whatever reason, the video card just kind of flipped out and dumped it into a format that my computer didn't recognize. So anyway, so <laughs> let me kind of start back over the second time. So what this is is a magnet, oddly enough, with North Pole and a South Pole. So just a quick refresher. Notice that the magnetic field lines are coming out of the North Pole and coming into the South Pole. It's like that Confederate designation. So as we get deeper and deeper and deeper into this, you have to keep this thing straight, which direction these field lines are coming out of the magnet. So if you're looking at this end of the magnet, you would see the field lines coming out. So you would see like a dot representation on this end. If you were looking at the south end because it was going this direction, then you would see X's on this end. So this is going to play out large later on. So if you're looking here, it's going in this direction. So you're going north, around here to the south. It's the Confederate designation. So what I'm going to do is, and I can't remember exactly where the camera fell and where this, so I'm going to try not to duplicate things too much. But when this thing moves in and out, that's what creates a current. And I know I talked about that in the video. So I just wanted to make sure that gets covered. So for now, I'm, I literally, I cannot remember exactly where that transition happened, but let's just go with this. So here's what you need to know for now. Field lines coming out, going around, field lines coming back in that way. That should make sense. Okay, there we go.